So many of us are looking for ways that we can remediate or reteach things with students who are remote learners or who um, in our classroom we need to, them to engage in some, some reteach or some remediation. There is a way to do this in Google Forms that we're going to explore very quickly today. And it has to do with setting up sections in Google Forms. So let's get started. We start off with our identifying information, our class period, and I have my first question. Now, in this particular case, I like for my uh, identifying information to be in a different section than my questions. So, I'm going to click right here and make sure that I'm highlighted in the correct place. And then I'm going to go up here to the floating bar and I'm going to go to the equal sign, which is add a section. It now has, once I've clicked that, it now has made this into two different sections. You as the teacher looking on this side will see all sections on the same page. The student will not. You also have some things here that you can choose um, where you want to go with it. So this section I'm going to call Riding Hood. And I have my question. What color is Riding Hood's coat? I have my question and I have my responses to this first question. And on the answer part, on the answer key part, I have marked the correct answer and my answer choice. You can add answer feedback for incorrect answers. So since I've chosen my correct answer, I could say incorrect answer, follow the link to review or consult the video to review because you have a couple of options here. You can create a link. Another thing you can do is you can add YouTube videos. So you'd click on the YouTube and ideally you would already have the video picked out that you want but if you don't you can do a search if you do then you just copy the URL click on it there and paste it in you can also do that here on this page as well little red writing hood do my search and I come up with various um, videos. Now, I'm going to pick this one that I've already previewed. If you have not previewed a video, do not ever insert a video you have not fully previewed from YouTube. But you can actually click on the video link there. You can preview the entire video and if you like it, it's already it's highlighted you select it and now it has stuck it in there so there's the feedback what does that look like on the student side on the student side of course they only see their first part they can't uh, move on till they have done this okay if they collect, select the wrong answer, you hit submit. Once we have done this, the student doesn't see the feedback right away the way we've done it. What happens is when the teacher grades it and sends it back, going to individual and releasing the score, it'll ask if I want to send it to the respondents. I do. So then it sends to the respondents and then the students in their email get an email response here and they can view their form and there's their feedback. So that's a way you can have them review afterwards. But what if you want them to review immediately as they move through. You don't want them to move on until they've got the question correct. Well, we can do that as well. Let's say that you don't want them to move on to the next question till they've remediated or been retaught on this question. And the way that you can achieve that is that 
you get into the editing part here, you will, you're in section two, you will create another section, add a section. Now this can get kind of hinky, so you want to name these sections um, very carefully. So we'll say writing hood reteach. It's important that you name those sections. I go back up to my question here and I go to the three dots and I select go to section based on answer. Now, I can now take and choose where they go based on their answer. So blue and green are incorrect, so I want them to go to section three, Red Riding Hood Reteach for both of those. So if they select that answer and move on, it's going to bring them to this Reteach section. In the case of if they answer correctly, I want them to go on to the next section. So or the next question. So I need a section for that question. And this is where it can get kind of hinky. Now, I was not in the right place, so I'm like, well now my section's going to be in the wrong place. What do I do? It's actually not that big of a deal. If you click on the three dots here, you can move sections. So I click move section, I take my untitled section, it's going to be my next question, and I move it down and it becomes my section four. And that one I'm gonna title Rapunzel. And I'm going to insert my question for Rapunzel. But let's stop here and go back to our reteach. In my reteach section, I want to um, say you answered incorrectly watch the video or follow the link if you're using a website you'll see in a moment and try again now I need to add to this section my video okay uh, which one was it? So I select my video and there's my video for review and then I can type a whole new question asking again but I can also if I want to ask him the exact same question again I can do that one of two ways. I can either copy the question and pull that copied question in here or what I like to do rather than doing that is I like to just insert a question after they've watched the video click click here to return to the question and it automatically gives you one option you don't want to add more options you just leave it there and go over here to the three dots go to section based on answer and I'm going to tell it to return to and see this is why it's good to name them to return to the Red Riding Hood question. Now what I've done is I've created a loop where the student um, where the student is linked back to the question. So, I answer it incorrectly, it brings me to this, I click here to return to the question, I might name that click here or return or something like that, click next, and it's brought me back to the question. Then if I answer the question correctly, it's going to bring me to the next section, except I haven't told it to do that. And this is why it's always good to go through and look from the student view when you do this because here I have go to the next section and that's no longer the next section. I want them to go to the Rapunzel section if they answer correctly that I created. 
So I'm putting my section for the Rapunzel section. What did Rapunzel, Rapunzel let down to allow the witch to enter the tower? And of course, I might say a ladder. I might say a rope and her hair. So I have my answer choices there. Now, again, for reteach, you want to add a section, and I'm going to title that Rapunzel Reteach. And I'm going to go through the same process where I add a video. You can also add a link as well and where if you want them to go to a website and link it you can do that so I have the Rapunzel um, videos but let's look at how I can add a link a link I need to go out and find the Rapunzel story in this case so let's do this one and I want the, the student to go back and read the story again to find out. So I take this website link, copy it, and then going back into the activity here, I paste it into that description. And then up here I'll put follow the link. If instead of doing this you wanted to make this the question again, show you that real quick, I can just copy the question. It copies it in the same section but I can grab it here with this at this grabber bar and pull it down into the section I want. But I need to be careful to change this. No I don't actually. I'm sorry. I've got the I happen to have this set up. So it's set up where if he answers incorrectly on the reteach question, guess what? It's going to link him right back to the reteach questions. Jenny. Jenny. So she got that one right, but say she got this one wrong. So there's the reteach, and then there's the question. If she still gets it wrong, and she does it, it brings her right back to the reteach until she gets the correct answer. So that's the way that you can do reteach or remediation. Um, it takes a little bit to set it up, but once you have the document set up or the form set up, you can use that form across years and then just adapt it as you go. So uh, let me know if you need something, and hopefully this helps you a little bit with the reteaching and remediation, particularly with those remote students.